This Penn State hockey story brings us to St. Louis, Missouri, the home of senior defenseman Christian Berger. The youngest of five boys, all of which played college hockey. The three D1 players all played for head coach Guy Godowski. Their success stems from their competitiveness. As we witnessed this summer. How's it going? How are we? This is our house. We're the Burgers. Uh, welcome to St. Louis. Christian and I are living here for the summer, first time in a while. So, uh, show you a little behind the scenes. Excited to show you guys what's going on. This is where they shoot pucks. It's very makeshift. It's an old house. We didn't have anything fancy. You'll go to, it's a mess, but just go look. I think that net is like 20 years old. Our oldest brother shot down here all the time, and then I think like I didn't like to do it. I thought it was boring. I'd play outside like roller, and then when I got into high school, my shot was terrible. So I'm like, I, I got to get down there. Okay. Kind of just like gotta specify what the shot is, and then just play big. I got P. He's up one. Oh, uh, well, uh, he got that one. PP, tied it up. Low left. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Low left. Yeah, baby. For the win. Between the blow and the ball. Wow, one W on the day. How you feeling? Pretty good. Local high school's got a nice track. We come out here to do our track work. No the game, no guesses. No, they won't forget us. Form a road like dominoes, they wanna get that precious. Follow me now, cause I know where to go. All the phones they lit up. Look at how they glitter. In a VIP, you know where me. Afternoon gets pretty toasty. Played tennis last week, seven game series. I beat Chase in the seventh game, which is not easy to do. He's got no backhand. Zero backhand. Hit his backhand hard. Crash net. <laughs> Good volley. No, yeah, we've been playing tennis. Legit our whole lives. And it's not easy to beat this guy, so I'd like to win. That's a tough way to win. Back to the drawing board. Oh, that's good. You guys want to go to lunch? We're in the hill right now. It's our other brother, Jimmy. Jim sells trash. Yeah, I work in the scrap metal industry. <laughs> <laughs> I buy trash for a living. It's really fun. We also recycle batteries, but. What were these guys like growing up? We had a lot of fun. Yeah. A couple injuries along the way, but <laughs> nothing too bad. Christian was a little bit of a daredevil, per se. Had a little bit of a temper. He would wear like a superhero costume every day, not like normal clothes. For an aggressive, he was probably six years old until he grew up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. really, really He'd be bad. wearing capes, Spider-Man, awesome. Mr. Incredible. Not that awesome, <laughs> not that awesome. <laughs> This is delightful though. Get that. Ham. What's not in there? Ham, pepperoni. Got everything in there. Yeah, so this is where we went to high school. Christian, well, our whole family, all of our brothers went here. Uh, my dad went here, his, uh, his brothers. I think there's a photo of my dad from like a thousand years ago. A little bit of an afro going. This guy, he was our coach too. So this guy, he doesn't even know how to skate. My dad claimed to fame right there. Assistant captain, I didn't know he was that.
Very bad basketball. Oh. Christian jumps. Thing going right here. I'm just standing and here. I, I try to smack it to my partner. That's here. And like that. Left my elbow. Elbow. Left elbow. He's also running into it. Standing there with the bicep. We're at Afton Ice Ring. We're about to help out run the SLU hockey camp. We went to school at SLU. We used to play here in high school um, against different teams. This is our home rink. We used to practice here, here all the time. It was really fun. What's your favorite goal you ever scored at Penn State? I don't know. I scored that one against Notre Dame way off the goalie's head. That was nice. Haysberger, a ridiculous shot! I tied the game against Michigan State this year late, which is pretty cool, but I'm not as much of a goal scorer. <laughs> known the Burger Boys since they were uh, about five or six years old. So the Burgers, they're from St. Louis, Missouri, and they all ended up going to Slough High. I was lucky enough to coach Christian uh, his uh, junior year. Uh, we won a state championship that year. He had a clutch goal. Christian we attract competitive kids, and, and the Burgers are at the top of that list. But that was nothing compared to the competition at home, which led to more than a few bumps and bruises. Did we break his ankle or Scotty's ankle? There was a lot, so Scotty's. we were at the emergency room. Yeah, a lot. Well, if you're looking for a story on Christian, let's tell the couple stories on his finger. When Ron. he was little. 18 months. 18 mo months, and they were playing in this little closet, and Scotty shut the door in his hand, so he pulled it wow, out, it and it left part of his finger in the door jam. And so I go into the closet and it's stuck to the door jam. He was in the cast like all the way up to here, like this for, you know. The tip of the finger fell The off. tip of the finger. It didn't survive. It didn't survive. It never came back. Yeah. It was just like one big adventure after another. And, and we, they didn't start to play hockey because we thought they were going to play college hockey. We just wanted them to have a high school sport. And so they played tennis and soccer. And I was always telling them like, don't tell your coach what you were doing before this. Just they don't need to know. And it was fun. It was just, it was really fun. And then college was just this big extension of a big adventure. I'm just grateful. I am grateful and I'm grateful that Guy Kodowski took a chance on him way back when. And then, you know, that we found out about Penn State. We've loved every second of it and we're gonna make it one great last year. It was Berger who has three points now for Penn State right as the net came unhinged. What are we doing, boys? So it looks like it's going to be Chase and Jimmy on one team against myself, Christian, and Scotty, who is my number uh, four son. Scotty here. Yeah, that's our other brother, Scotty. <laughs> Scotty's a grinder. That is it. The family dynamic? It's a little hectic at all times, to be honest. Whenever we all get together, it's just crazy. There's always competition going on, whether it's basketball, hockey, tennis. It's amazing. We always just find ways to just compete with each other and just battle any way we can to show who's who's got the dominance on that day. I'm gonna be the only guy out here without any Penn State gear. I'm Johnny Knoxville. And this is Men's League Hockey. Feeling great. A little tired. So I got lucky I got Christian on my team. Looks just like Big Ten hockey, huh? You go a little harder against uh, your brother? No, for sure. Hockey families like the Burgers never know where the road ends, but they love the journey. Memories become pictures on the wall. But failures and successes become their character. 
So uh, yeah, it's our grandparents' house. Some skate out there uh, every once in a while, and then they live like two minutes away, so we'll pop in and say hey. They like knew nothing about hockey before us, and now they're like diehards. My grandpa watches all my games in Germany. They all got their, their wall of fame, I guess you want to call it. <laughs> Jack played professionally. Chase still does in Europe, and Christian is aiming for big things for his senior year at Penn State. But the best games and memories for all five brothers are still with each other. His first he started, he was in a chair leaning over backwards, broke his leg. And who got hit by the car? You did? <laughs> <laughs> I did get hit by a car. Yeah. <laughs> he still had to go to school, though. Oh, sure. Yeah. He always went to school. And this family's actions and values mirror everything great about Penn Stater. They're good kids. They are. Like, they're all smart. They're all really good at hockey. Dancing did a good job of raising very successful boys, but they're very humble in the, the way that they approach life and everything they do. They are the type of guys that are on the first line, but they befriend the guys on the fourth line. That's, that's what the Burger Boys do. 